Hey diddle diddle, the dog did his piddle. The bull jumped over the moon. The little pig laughed. Cause he's... Oh. <laughs> Father, I'm so... You do realize that I'm still on the line. I thought you put me on hold. You had an, another call. I'll put you on permanent hold if you don't pull yourself together. Oh, well, now that Luis knows about Ethan and Teresa, I think I'm allowed to celebrate a small triumph. Very small. But you want to minimize the happy fact that Luis is bound to forbid Teresa from ever seeing Ethan again? Well, I hope you're right, Julian. More to the point, you'd better hope you're right. Uh, it's a fait accompli, mon papa. Teresa is effectively out of the way. Gwen will marry Ethan. All the mergers we had to keep on ice will go forward, and the crane fortune will double overnight. Well, Wall Street will react, there's no doubt. I'm still skeptical that uh, Teresa is effectively out of the way, as you so eloquently put it. Believe me, Father, Rebecca came up with a killer way to tell Luis about Teresa and Ethan's involvement. We dropped a real bomb on the Lopez Fitzgerald house. And the little pig laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with Pat Boone. <laughs> Get Eve out of here. All right, I'll get help as soon as I can. Okay. of the one who could see 
Yes, we shall all partake of the fatted goose this Christmas. A word of advice, Julian. Don't eat it before you cook it. And keep me updated on the situation. It's imperative that Ethan marry Gwen. I'm working very hard to make sure that happens. I'm confident we shall soon be sprinkling the happy couple with rice. You better be right, Julian. If you screw this up... Well, I thought you were pleased with the work I'd done on this. So far, yes. But I know you all too well, Julian, and I know that you're capable of letting everything go right into the toilet. That is so unfair. Does the word fair appear on the crane coat of arms? You just make sure that Ethan says, I do to Gwen, and not the housekeeper's daughter. Teresa is out of the picture. She... <clears throat> Very pleasant night to you, too. He doesn't trust you. Hmm. Eavesdropping as usual, hmm? And I am appalled at the way you are trying to manipulate Ethan. Are you really? Just when I think you couldn't possibly drop any lower. I'm simply doing what's best for my son. That's to make certain that he stays the hell away from Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. Teresa, no. I mean it! You cannot hate your brother. Ah, it's okay. Let her hate me, let her say I'm no longer a brother, anything else she wants to say. Just keep doing what's best for her, and maybe one day... Who are you to judge what's best for me, Louise? Don't fight. Please. It breaks my heart when my children fight. Mama, Louise is the one who's doing this. He thinks he can rule my life, but I won't let that happen. I love Ethan. You're too young to know what love is. Louise, I've known what love is my whole life, and Ethan you and I... You have a crush on him. We are in love. In love? He's using you. Can't you see that? No. Come on. Did he ask you to marry him? Do you have a ring on your finger? He can't, Louise, because he knew you would be this way. Ethan doesn't want to come between me and my family. He cares about me, and he doesn't want me to lose something that's such an important part of my life. You know, I want the two of you to just calm down and think before you speak again. Ethan is a crane. Goes right on down the line. Alistair, Julian, and Ethan. They care about one thing. Themselves. Not him. He loves me, Louise, and I am going to be with him. No, you are not. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure you stay away from him. He's losing blood. I have to get my medical bag. It's in the car. And that's where it's going to stay. <laughs> do not even think about it. You... Salo. Eating me was a very big mistake. You made me angry. And when I'm angry... You're a damn coward. Hank. Listen to your great friend, Hank. There's nothing you can do. Except die. And you will. Soon after the boat gets here. The water must be very cold at this time of the year, huh? And as the water closes in over your heads, think of us hooking up with a larger boat on our way home to Paris. Pierre, I'm gonna go and see if the boat has arrived. Watch closely. I don't want any of them to make anything foolish and miss their swim. At least let me check Chad's food. What difference when he only has minutes to live? Eve, what was Chad doing here anyway? I don't know. I think he was here to see me. I was gonna try and help him find his parents. Use DNA. Talk about rotten timing. About to get Sheridan out of there. You can forget about that, mon ami. Nobody's gonna save Sheridan. She's gonna die. <laughs> 